what to do if your furniture gets damaged. <laughs> this video is not here to scare you whatsoever, but it is a question that I get asked often. We stayed over 400 properties per year. I've been in business for seven years and I've only had one instance where my furniture has been damaged. Think about the percentage of all of those installations where I've had an issue. But this video has been created so that if you do have the issue, then you know how to protect yourself before it happens and then after it does. Let's dive in. So as I was mentioning, by the way, Liv Conlon here, founder of the Property Stager Seven Figure Home Staging Business. I share with you, we stage over 400 properties per year. And with that, I've had one case where my furniture has been damaged. And it wasn't through the client's fault. It was actually an issue in the property. The property ended up getting damp and then our furniture became damp and moldy because it had been in there for a while. But fear not, my client is really understanding. If things like this happen, clients usually are. If everybody has protected themselves in the right way. So let me share with you the three ways to protect yourself. Let's dive in. Now, the way that we protect yourself in business and any kind of business is with a contract. So before we would ever install furniture into a property, we ensure that we've sent the client the contract and the contract is signed. The contract is not signed, we do not install even if we've received payment because we need to really tie in that contract to make sure that our client is protected and also we are protected. Now you're going to have a clause in there that if anything does get damaged whilst in their care, that should be covered by their insurance or they will be personally liable for the cost to the place. And then we often add in an admin fee there too. Imagine you have some incredible, incredible pieces that are ruined from a client's property that are then hard to replace. Well, that is time and money to replace, isn't it? So make sure that that contract is absolutely solid and is keeping you protected and your furniture. Next up, you need to make sure that you are insured and that they are insured. Now, your insurance is obviously your responsibility. I'm not here to give you any insurance advice. I am not qualified to do so. So reach out to an insurance broker as quickly as possible to make sure that your team are protected and so is your kits. When it comes to your client, ensuring that they have property insurance or contents insurance, again, this is not advice. This is just what we check with them. So again, ask your insurance provider to advise you on what your client will need to have. That will be your responsibility to communicate that to the client. And if they're not insured, then they'll be personally liable. And then finally, your client doesn't want this to happen, nor do you. So approaching this with grace and approaching this the way that you would like to be approached is extremely important. I would never get annoyed at a client for that happening. It's usually something that's totally out with your client's control and it's something that's unforeseen. Who wants to claim on their insurance and who wants to pay for damaged furniture? So approach them with a kindness, with a grace that is not accusatory, but actually more solution focused. I've always found the more solution focused you are and the nicer you are to someone, the nicer they're going to be back to you. So how would you like to be approached if this happened? And I'm sure they'll be massively apologetic. So if this is one of the worries that you had about doing your home staging business, don't worry about it. But I do have a free invitation for you to join me on my seven day challenge at ditchthedayjob.com. I'm going to share with you how to say goodbye to that nine to five and launch your home staging business and say goodbye to any issues like this. We're going to make sure you are protected. Mm -hmm.